It's a part of University of Iowa President Sally Mason's six-point plan to crack down on campus sexual assault, and its numbers are growing. The UI night ride service has seen a significant increase in riders since rolling out a second bus for the service just this March. Fox 28 News reporter Brittany Borgie says the spike in riders might surprise you. Brittany. Yeah, Scott and Tiffany, the spike certainly surprised me when I first found out that there had been an increase in riders after the night ride service added this second bus. I thought for sure it must be on a night like Friday or Saturday at 2 a.m. when all the bars let out. But actually, the most riders happen on nights like tonight, Monday and Tuesday nights, when students let out of the library or the student union. So we decided to do a ride along last week, just before finals week hit, to see what the second bus means to the students who use it. Okay, Papa John called at 22.30 and the library called at 22.35. It's just after 10 on a Tuesday night, the week before finals at the University of Iowa. I'm all sitting late at the IMU. I spend a lot of time in the engineering building, usually about like eight hours a day, and this is really nice to just get a safe ride home. Copy. I'll try that one first. Junior Kaylin Vetter is the first student we see get on the bus. Well, I was looking at the bus stop schedule, and I saw it's going to be at least 15 minutes for the next bus, and it's kind of creepy to just be like standing there, and a lot of the buildings lock at 10, so I figured... Here was a good opportunity. As a biomedical engineering major, she spends hours studying every day. And while she feels safe on campus, she won't go anywhere without using the buddy system. Sometimes night ride fills that role. It's just like a unspoken thing that if you feel like unsafe, you've got someone to call. Where are you? East Burlington. Okay. Sophomore Caitlin Schlager got on the bus and agreed. And usually if it's after nine, I always call. It's convenient and that way I don't have to walk alone because usually I study alone and can't study in groups. So it's just a safety thing. She says she's never had a moment where she's felt unsafe in Iowa City, but she thinks night ride contributes to that effect, especially with a second bus making the rounds. I've got one at the UCC. The wait time is way faster, and also um, the buses are newer, <laughs> so that's kind of nice. And that seemed to be the consensus with every rider. Oh, it's awesome. It, and it's been so much nicer since like they got the second bus this past few months. 605 at the library. I feel like adding the second bus helped decrease the sexual assaults, only because um, not a lot of girls would have to be waiting for the bus. A lot of girls might be an understatement. As of April, ridership is on track to hit a five-year high. With nearly 7,000 riders since January, adding a second night ride bus could push the yearly total to more than 15,000 travelers. And there's even some girls that ride seven days a week. They just plan on us for their ride home. You know, it's not even a question. But there is a sobering turn here. Well, I definitely post on my sorority page all the time about how I use it and everyone in our sorority uses it. And I always talk it up, so I'm hoping more people use it because, I mean, that is sad to hear that that's happening around campus. I have friends that have, like, happened to them and then um, it all assaulted in some way. In some way. On the nights when there's more people out drinking or if there's a football game, like, it's a little bit sketchier, I think, just because... With a lot of inebriated people, you don't know what they're going to do. And me being sober and short little girl, I don't, I can't fend off the big drunk guys. These women feel safe, but they keep the threat of sexual assault in the back of their minds always. Even if it's reported, it doesn't like limit the danger that's going on. And their concern isn't just for themselves. I mean, one of my guy friends, he got like beat up in front of and he's like a big guy. He's on the football team. They'd like to see a night ride bus made available specifically for men or anyone who doesn't identify as female. Anything can happen to a guy as well. Thank you. As our night ride journey came to a close, bus driver Josh Claren looked to the future. But long before we had the second bus, I always wished that we would. Heck, probably in down the road, they might even have a full fleet of them. Hard to say, though, you know, the way the numbers are going. Hi, Hawks, okay. More women continued getting on and off the bus even after we left. And for many, those increased numbers boiled down to just one thing. I think, you know, rape and sexual assault is a big deal. And if you can save one person from that, then I think that's a big issue. 
Now I spoke with Public Safety Director Chuck Green about the possibility of adding a night ride service for men. He says night ride will remain a female only service for the foreseeable future and that all of the regular bus routes are available to men. But he says if anybody ever needs help, regardless of their gender, night ride drivers like Josh Claren are instructed to stay with them until help is available.